absolutely delighted to say that Leah has dropped by this morning. It's lovely to meet you. Oh, it's so lovely to meet you. I sat and watched you all last year and I thought, will I ever meet her? And there oh. she is in front of me. <laughs> That's so nice. <laughs> How did the gig go last night? Oh my goodness, it was incredible. I mean, we just did like a spare of the moment gig because I found out I was coming home and it was such a nice way to kick off the radio tour because I was home and uh, the single's home and I've dedicated it to home. <laughs> but it was packed out and um, yeah, just can't believe the amount of people that we were able to squeeze in there. But so sorry to the people that got turned away. That was, would have loved if get more people in there if it was possible are you excited <laughs> about this new single i'm so excited honestly i just yeah i've been waiting for it for about a, a, you know well about a year but we were in the studio i was in the studio with will and uh as soon as Excuse we started me, with will well sorry will i am will i am yes i was in the studio <laughs> with will yeah and uh, as soon as we started writing a few songs we were like oh let's just keep writing so 35 songs later it was like i suppose we should release a single now <laughs> <laughs> why home um, well, I think whenever we were going through all the songs from the album, um, this one was really special to me because, you know, I've got so much support from home and I've had so many people being like, you're putting Northern Ireland on the map and all, even though I think we're pretty, pretty good on the map. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, just that really proud of you and stuff. So this song just felt really nice to start off my career, you know. Uh, we'll talk about Will, shall we? Let's talk my, about our, Will. Our friend Will. My wee mate Will. My wee mate. <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, he produced the song. Uh, yes, he did. And, and, he, and he's on the song. He's on the song, yeah. And uh, Cool Rudder produced it over in LA uh, with a guy called John Baptiste as well, which is one in, he's a guy in Will's team. So, yeah, Leah, cool. did you ever think when you were a young girl struggling, trying to get your name out there, trying to get your music <laughs> out there, when you were doing the pubs and clubs on Northern Ireland, you went over to England, you tried your luck there. Did you ever think that one day you would be sitting collaborating with an international superstar <laughs> like Will I Am? Like, you just can't even dream this stuff do you know what I mean it just kind of blows your mind so no I suppose I didn't <laughs> but um, I'm pretty happy that it worked out yeah. but does he help as much as we think he does because generally after a program like that television that's it over mm. you, you never see these guys again yeah uh, probably more than what you, th you think he does um, because I mean I genuinely was in the studio with him for straight four months I was in LA um, came back to perform at all the festivals he was doing he brought me with him was at the Grammys singing with him there for the Music I Care event I was just I'm just back from LA two weeks ago singing with the Black Eyed Peas like he pulls me with him everywhere to perform which is incredible so probably more so yeah he's yeah he's so lovely. straight after the program he took you off straight after LA. yeah there was um probably two days and then I was in LA and what was the excuse why, why were you going out there initially um, it was he was just like I want to work with her now. Really, so, he, he yeah. actually he actually really did want to work with. Yeah, you. he says I want to work with her now, and the flight was booked, and um, I signed with the label and Universal, and then after the papers were signed, I was just flown straight out there, and I was only meant to stay one week, but after we wrote the first song, he picked up the phone to my label and went, I'm keeping her longer. <laughs> and how long did you stay? I ended up staying for well, four months, yeah, on and off four months. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the songs that you you wrote and recorded then, they will now appear on the new album. Yeah, they right? will. We've picked out we're, we've <laughs> we love them so we've only been able to bring it down to 19 so far so obviously we need wow. to go <laughs> but then i was on tour with him for four for two months so yeah just traveling all around uk and europe supporting him and performing in his show as well so that was amazing isn't that fantastic and he took you over to la you sang at the grammys did you say you sang at a special night for carl yep that's the music um music care event which was um carl king yeah which is amazing because the first uh competition that i won here in northern ireland was um, I was singing Natural Woman. It was Stars and Rise. And wow. it, like, it was an all-school competition. And then that's obviously one of her songs. So I got to sit and chat to her about it and everything. It was, it was how, incredible. How, how you, like, it, it, it's so out there. It, it really is huge. I know, I can't believe it. What about the nerves and so on? Because you seem to be the handling nerves. this exceptionally well. I know. Well, I, no, I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, I think you just kind of have to work through the nerves. Um, Will isn't very good for that either because he finds them funny. So just before I was about to perform Music Caravan, uh, Lady Gaga, I walked past she oh. was just after performing and I was like ooh, ooh. <laughs> and then Will was like don't be nervous but don't screw it up <laughs> and then laughed and I didn't but it was okay <laughs> but yeah it went well it's all right like the nerves is just a part of it it just means that you care about it a lot is it true that when you went into The Voice you, you, you weren't really going in thinking that you could win this all you wanted to do was to get 10 minutes of Will I Am's time yeah yeah I mean whenever um, yeah because I was scouted for the show and everything and I, I just wasn't sure because I wasn't sure of how well I do on TV and <laughs> um, that's very nerve-wracking but uh, yeah I just wanted 10 minutes of Will's time just to be like 
mate, my voice is a bit weird. What do I do with this production wise? You know, my voice is um, a bit weird. Did, you, is, did you, know? you just say that? Yeah, <laughs> it is. I make a unique lot of different... is the word you're looking for. Not weird. <laughs> unique is the Thanks. word. <laughs> but yeah, well, that, that's what he says as well. It's not weird. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so I just wanted 10 minutes to chat with him. But it turned out to be a pretty long 10 hasn't minutes. Hasn't it just? Hasn't it just? <laughs> he, he, he comes across as a fairly eccentric fella is he, is, he is eccentric um, in his daily life yeah a lot i was chatting to him um i was by, yeah, i was with him on wednesday and i was chatting to him and he, i was saying to him oh people don't understand me when i'm on stage because i was just on tour there with jesse J. and if you make a couple of jokes on stage they don't understand my accent and um he was just like yeah but you're just like he said to me oh but you should probably release a dictionary so people understand what you're saying i was like mate are you joking <laughs> nobody understands what you say <laughs> so i think we're both as weird um, is, so is that what it, no unique is the word sorry, unique, saying unique. That word weird. sorry. is that what attracted you to him um i mean i think he, i think he got the quirkiness and as soon as, as soon as i was in the studio i arrived at the studio the first time i've never been more nervous um to work with him and within the first song i knew that there this was going to work it was going to come together the first song was just he was able to bring the production all around me just to support that kind of unique voice <laughs> well <said. laughs> thanks <laughs> uh you've just finished a tour with jesse J, or yeah how uh, we just uh we did forest gigs so it was just all around um england there it was incredible she's also been amazing from the show she's, like insanely supportive um so she brought me on tour with her um so supporting and then one night she called me on stage to sing price tag with her which is a complete honor um which was incredible so yeah what do you hope for yourself now what what's the summer what's the rest of the year Going um, to bring it for you. I mean, I, I I never really like set goals. I, I'm, like, I don't know whether or not that's a bad thing. I just I'm enjoying it and I want to take it as far as it'll go. Um, but the support so far and throughout the whole show and even after, you know, because people have obviously been waiting for a year now for things to be released, has just been incredible. Especially from home, it's just been insane. So, I'm um, I'm really excited about the rest of the year. I feel like it's hopefully going to be a very good year and the album is coming out the album will be released in um, October and the single home is up for pre-order now which please do because it helps us get in the charts uh, that, that's what we want certainly <laughs> that's this what time we want. Uh, the actual release is on the 27th 27th of, this of month. July it'll be out yeah but the wee video is up now it's up on YouTube yes I haven't seen the video you told me that. I'll have a look I at the video I should check it tonight. out I look a wee bit weird but it's alright unique unique <laughs> 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 Uh, home is very important to you in spite of all the success that you've had so far definitely actually even in making the video um, you know we were discussing different concepts and stuff like that and uh, I think I, I mean I've, I've been so blessed to travel the world a, a lot this year and see incredible places um, but I think it, the more you travel you start to realise just maybe I'm biased I don't know but how beautiful your home is like Northern Ireland Ireland's gorgeous um, so I decided I wanted to create in the video like a fantasy world and there's like you know these big kind of round shapes which are representing globes and worlds and stuff but it's just like the fantasy world is my home that's my dream world to be able to come home so yeah that's very that's nicely cool. said oh. <laughs> are you being recognized now um yes that's uh that's the strangest part of it you know you're going to the chemist or whatever going to the supermarket and uh, <laughs> people are like you're are you that girl off that show, X Factor? <laughs> <laughs> no, the voice. <laughs> yeah, no, but it's 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 good. Like it's it's lovely to know that people still, you know, have been watching your YouTube videos and supporting you and everything. So And yeah. Mum's very proud of you. Mum's very proud. Mum's standing, standing over at the side. Yeah. She's taking a day off work just to give in today, <laughs> she tells me. <laughs> yeah. Everybody's so. very proud of you. Oh, uh, you Leo, so we're very proud of you. Can I wish you all the very best? Uh, thank you. certainly with the single and with the album and with all that you hope to do this year and, and the years so to come. Much. You will sing for us before you leave. Yes, I'm going to sing a, another song from the album. Actually, um, it's a really another song that's quite important to us. It's called "Weird to Wonderful," and I wrote it just about weird and wonderful. Weird to wonderful. It should be unique to wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> I might have to call Will and ask him to change it. Um, but yeah, no, it's just about um, yeah, maybe being a wee bit out there and someone coming along and, and changing, you know, that into something that they think's wonderful. So yeah, let's hear. But it, yeah. Let's hear Come, it, let's hear yeah, it. I'm looking forward to performing it for you. I hope you like it. Me. 
Oh, yeah. 